Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeep with cool guys. Okay, what do you say we remove the alternator? That's cool. We're gonna take off the alternator, we're gonna take off the belts, and loosen up the power steering uh, belt too. Rocket! It does fascinate me that so much of this Jeep was put together with one size bolt head or nut. And again, here we are, half inch. If you only have one half inch socket head, you're probably gonna have to buy about four or five more because you're gonna go through them. I've already busted out like two or three of them. Once we loosen this top one here, at that point, uh, if you loosen the one down here, outside of the fan belt, oh, hey. <sighs> Just when I spoke too soon, this is a 9 16 That apparently I need to have one on the back side here too because this is a long bolt that goes all the way through that this whole alternator pivots on. Okay, well, you just saw me do what I wanted to do, accomplish. <laughs> so once you loosen this up, then you can move the uh, alternator in and off this slot. This is your tension slot. And then you can just pull off your nice dilapidated uh, painted rubber belt, which you will be throwing out. Wow, that thing's got to be original. That thing is so corroded and craked up. All right, next. That doesn't work. That works. You haven't gotten a set. These uh, ratcheting wrenches are pretty nice to have. Makes quick work of this type of stuff. There's one bolt. So the difficulty with this one is getting by the fan blades. Which, I guess I really don't have to, but it makes it a little bit easier. No, I can't get much torque on that. Does it make you nervous that I've got my hand bouncing around on the fan blades? If you were my mom, you'd be really nervous. Really nervous. All right, note to self, this uh, bolt nut that holds this part of the uh, alternator support bracket into place is not a drilled out hole like this one. It is a slot so that you can put these on here and then slide that on. So now that I've got that loosened up, oh, huh? There's another learning process. There's a bolt right behind here that actually bolts the this into the side part of the, uh, looks like the head. So you actually do need to take off the um, alternator to be able to get to that. So let's take off the alternator. Comes out nice and easy. And it's so much fun, it's like a pinwheel. Oh. Wow, mesmerizing. This is part of the water pump from what I gather, or no, the, uh, the crankcase cover. Because um, you can tell it's obviously a specialty bolt. Uh, interestingly enough, it looks like it's a bolt within a bolt. So there's this nut on top here uh, that connects to the main part of the bolt. And then this is the slot that the alternator support bracket goes into. So I'm going to put that back in and leave that in there for now. So there's your alternator support bracket. And there's your alternator.